Hello, my name is Gregory Moses. I am facilitating the math seminar. And the reason I say facilitating instead of teaching is that this is a little different from the other courses you've taken in our major. In this course, you are going to select a topic that is not taught as part of our standard curriculum. You are going to research the topic, write a paper about it, and then give a presentation to the class. And this is almost all going to be self-directed. We do not meet every Monday, in spite of what your course schedule is telling you. We are meeting the first Monday, and then we won't meet again until, I believe, week 10. Up until then, it's all just going to be self-directed work. We do have stuff do between week one and week 10, but that's all handled online. So at the end of the first week, there's a self-introduction. At the end of the second week, you have to select a topic, and you can click this and find details about what I'm looking for as far as topics go. And you also can find a link to submit the topic. At the end of week four, I want you to have a references link put together. And again, if you click this button, you'll find information about what specifically I'm looking for. By the end of week eight, you should have a rough draft. Now, how we mainly improve rough drafts in this class is via peer evaluation. You're going to read each other's rough drafts and you're going to provide feedback. So we're going to meet for that. Um, because not every student has experience doing peer evaluation, we're going to start with a little practice. In week nine, I'll have you read a sample paper that I wrote. In week 10, we'll meet in person and we'll see how peer evaluation works. We'll evaluate my paper together. Also, in week 10, you'll read your peers' rough drafts. We're probably going to be in two groups of four. Um, I don't expect that everyone will read everyone's rough draft. And in week 11, We'll do a peer evaluation, and that's our last meeting until the final exam week when we give our presentations, or, well, when you give your presentations, I guess I should say. Um, if at all possible, I would like for online students to plan to meet at, um, with in-class students. So at the end of week one, at the end, um, or at the beginning of week one, at the beginning of week 10, at the beginning of week 11, and then during the final exam week. I do understand that often online students are online because they have, you know, they're not on the standard academic schedule. They're you're working full time or you've got kids and can't, you know, find daycares or something like that. So if it truly is impossible for an online student to meet 
during these times via Zoom. I would understand that and I will try to work around it. But if you can, I would like for my online students to try to be free during these time slots and meet with my in-class students via Zoom. I will be seeing you, or at least be seeing most of you, in person, or if not literally in person, then again using Zoom, Monday evening, so I don't want to ramble much longer than I've already rambled. If after our evening meeting you still have questions, or there's anything I can do to help you succeed in this course, please don't hesitate to get in touch.